Hey there, my name is Chris Calabro. I'm the founder of Enosium, and today I'd like to show you our Dedum email template. I'll show you how easy it is to install and a few options for customizing it. So when you make your purchase, you'll get this Dedum zip file. And to install, you're just gonna install it like any other modic theme. Go to your theme section, browse for that file, and hit install. And once you're done, you'll see Dedum here in your list of themes, and you'll see it has the email feature. So to take a look at this, let's open up a new email. And I'll just choose segment email. And you'll see we have Dedum here with a nice thumbnail. This template is broken up into sections. So we have a header section, body section, little spacer, second section, and a footer. So each section can be modified using the uh, content background color and wrapper background color. So you can play with that. If you wanna change the colors, you could come in here and make this a black background. You can make it a white background, whatever you want. All you have to do is change the background color for each of these different sections. In this case, I'm just gonna put it back to the original colors. And then each of these slots here, this is an image slot, um, also can accept other slots around it. So if for some reason you wanted to stick a button up here, you could do that. Um, you can put the button down here under this. Uh, again, you'll see all of these areas can accept new slot types. But for the purposes of this demo, uh, let's just say we wanted to leave the header as it is, but add in our logo. There you go, and you'll see um, as with any other image, you can insert a link for that image. You can use the left align, uh, right align, center, and obviously update the alt text. Um, and now moving on to the body, you have a headline text area, which again, you can edit right here. Super awesome. Um, and again, you can drag additional slots into here. Um, and you can also, uh, you know, mess with the text color, font size, all that sort of stuff. Um, then underneath that, we have a full width image. And this placeholder image here is giving you the recommended dimensions for this image. So 600 pixels wide by 300 high. Um, 600 pixels wide will give you this nice edge to edge support. So if I bring in um, one of the sample images, you'll see that this gives a nice edge to edge look. Um, but if you added a smaller image, that will just center, um, so that will still look good. And then obviously have another text area, another image, text, and then you have this button here. Um, you can modify this button using the um, email builder here, which I will come back to in a moment. Um, and then you have this spacer section which you can move around if you would like to for some reason, or you can delete entirely if you don't want the space there. Then you have this second section here, which again, you could uh, build out to be a much larger section by, by dragging new slot types in. Um, but by default, it's just sort of a social area. So you have a headline here, um, <clears throat> and then you have social images here that you can uh, use and um, link to your own social accounts, or you can also just delete them entirely or swap them out for your own social images. And then you have the footer area, which is pretty straightforward. Um, you have a big text area, so you can come in here and edit the text. Um, <clears throat> now that covers most of the template, and I just want to return to this button real quick. Um, there are a few things to note. Obviously, you can change the button text. You can update the link. Um, but the thing I wanted to note is the button size. So this default button size here um, uh, looks great by default, um, but you can also use these button size options. But just note that once you choose one of these button sizes, you won't be able to get back to this original size. So for example, if I hit this medium, You'll note that it's a little larger than that original button size. Small is a little smaller. So um, once I click on one of these options, I can't really get back to that original size. 
unless I close this and open up a new version of the template.